I think I was called to be a mission leader without my own knowledge. Um, I didn't know about mission leadership roles, you know, 15 years ago. My background is uh, in theology from my time in the seminary. And then I went to school and learned uh, and got an additional degree in organizational development. A couple of years ago when the mission leader position became open, someone asked me if I had ever thought about applying for it. I didn't come to the mission leader role with all the competencies. I think I came um, with an awareness, certainly, of the importance of spirituality, the importance of leadership, the importance of uh, integrity, the importance of teaching. But I had to grow in this role. I love this definition of mission and purpose and service and calling. It comes from a theologian, Frederick Buechner, who says your calling is where your purpose and the world's deep hunger meet. And I see that in our work in mission, is how do we help employees who have this deep purpose, how do we help them to meet the hunger of people who are coming to us? And people are hungering for treatment of illness, they're hungering to be seen as humans, they're hungering to be seen as people who matter, they're hungering to be respected and restored to health, or to learn how to deal with deficits in their health. So mission work is so important if you don't get ahead of yourself. And if I don't see myself as being more important than I am, I'm an instrument, but so is everyone else in this organization. And the goal is to help them find meaning and purpose and where necessary to restore that sense of meaning and purpose. If you'd like to be part of seeing an organization become more vital, if you'd like to be part of seeing people cared for in communities, if you like to take your values and your principles and bring them to bear in an organization, I don't think there's a better job.